The movie starts in an abandoned neighborhood where an elderly man is dragging a young woman by her hair down the street. The scene shifts to a group of young people, two men and a woman. They open the door to a luxurious home. One of them disables the alarm before it can sound. As they enter the house, Alex, who appears the most nervous, repeats their rules about not taking any cash and grabbing only items worth less than $10,000. Before they leave, they reset the alarm and break the front door window, activating the alarm sound as they flee. Later, they're in their car, smoking and chatting. Alex tells the other two about another of their friends who are leaving town. They don't seem bothered, claiming that everyone leaves Detroit. They are planning to leave for California after the next robbery, with no intention of returning. The girl invites Alex to join them, but he refuses because he cannot leave his father alone in Detroit. They drop him off at his house, and he walks right into his father's office room, opening a drawer and returning the key from the house they just robbed. For the record, his father is a home security guard. Money, the third character, goes to fence the items obtained during the robbery but does not receive as much as he had hoped. He has a brief argument with the man who buys the items from him, but the man tells him that if he wants more cash, he should steal it. He gives him advice on a new job, and Money tells his friends about it. It's a house belonging to a lone veteran, guarded by Alex's father, and located in an abandoned area of town. That gives the other too little confidence, so Money explains why they should rob it. The veteran's daughter was apparently run over by a rich girl, and her family gave him a large settlement of at least $300,000. The girl accepts the idea much more easily than the nervous guy, Alex. He's concerned about the implications of grabbing such a large sum for both them and his father's company. He turns and walks away. Later that day, the girl, Rocky, texts Alex, pleading with him to do the job for her so she can leave Detroit and start a new life. While Alex investigates the veteran, Rocky is at home with her little sister, her mother, and her mother's new boyfriend. Rocky's mother doesn't take care of her youngest daughter, and Rocky wants to take her with her to California after the last robbery. She wishes to save her sister from their dreadful family situation, and this news melts Alex's heart. Alex, Rocky, and Money visit the veteran's house and the surrounding neighborhood. Alex and Rocky remain alone in the car. She tells him a story from her childhood, and Alex promises to accompany them to California once they finish the job. When a Rottweiler dog jumps at the girl's window, Money returns to the car and confirms what they already know about the house. When an elderly man with a dog approaches, Money informs them that he is the veteran. They notice he's blind and have a brief discussion about how unethical it would be to rob a blind man. They return to the neighborhood that night, and the lights are turned off in the veteran's office. They first take care of the dog by feeding it meat laced with a drug. When they go to open the front door, they discover that the keys Alex stole from his father's security company are no longer functional. They search for a side door or a window but only find a small window through which only Rocky can pass. She enters the house and disables the alarm with a remote given to her by Alex. She notices framed photos of the veteran's late daughter on the mantel. Meanwhile, Alex and Money are awaiting her call to enter. They enter the house and begin searching for the safe containing the cash. Rocky searches the closet while Money goes to the next floor to chloroform the old veteran, preventing him from waking up. He discovers him sleeping in his room, surrounded by the sounds of a video of his daughter playing as a child. Money manages to turn off the gas before the vet wakes up and turns off the TV. He comes down, and the three of them discover a bolted door, believing the cash is hidden behind it. Money pulls out a gun and shoots the bolted door, assuming the veteran is asleep. Alex decides to leave, fearful of how having a gun there will change things from a legal point of view. He removes his shoes from the stack and walks away. Money and Rocky open the door, but the veteran appears out of nowhere and inquires as to who is there. The two of them remain silent, but he hears Money and begins to follow his voice as he tries to deceive and then reason with the old man. He shoots at him once to scare him, but it has no effect. Outside, Alex hears a gunshot. The veteran seizes the gun from his grasp and shoots him in the head. He has no idea the girl is also present. Rocky takes refuge in the closet. Alex walks into the house and almost collides with the veteran but manages to avoid him as he bolts the doors and windows. He goes into the bathroom and texts Rocky. He heads toward her after she tells him where she is hiding. However, before Alex arrives, the veteran enters the closet, removes a section of the drywall to reveal the safe, enters the code, which is fully visible to Rocky, and checks to see if the money is all there. When he discovers that it hasn't been stolen, he closes the safe and walks away, unaware that Rocky is also inside the closet. Alex enters the closet and suggests calling the cops, 
but Rocky is not convinced. On the contrary, she opens the safe and takes the money. Alex believes there is a million dollars in there. They decide to leave through the bolted door, believing it will lead them through the basement and to a hatch leading to the yard. The veteran appears from inside and begins dragging Money's body to a different part of the house before they can go through the door. After a brief scare, he continues doing what he was doing, giving them plenty of room to run through the door. He doesn't realize they're there until he discovers their shoes a few moments later. He goes to check on the safe and discovers that the money has vanished. Meanwhile, Alex and Rocky are investigating the basement. They are astounded to discover a girl bound with cords. When she moves, a ring attached to her alerts the veteran that something is going on in the basement. While there, Alex and Rocky discover that she is the girl who ran over the veteran's daughter. Rocky decides to help her regardless of what she has done. They attempt to enter through the basement hatch, but the veteran appears in front of it and begins shooting. He murders the girl who murdered his daughter. While Alex and Rocky are running, the veteran calls out that his baby is dead, while holding the dead girl's body. He then pursues them in the vast basement after turning off the electricity. He almost manages to catch them and strangle Alex because they are both blinded in some way, but the guy escapes with Rocky again. The Rottweiler, who is now fully awake, is waiting for them outside the basement. The dog pursues them on the second floor, cornering them in one of the rooms. The windows are barred, and they appear to have no way out. Meanwhile, the veteran has caught up with them and is standing outside the room with his dog and a gun. When she notices a vent on the wall, Rocky and Alex try to find a way out. He instructs her to go through it and promises to secure the door. The old man and the dog breaks through the door and attack Alex as she enters the vent. He falls through the window and lands on a window one level lower. Back in the room, the dog follows Rocky through the shaft of the vent based on her scent. She escapes by jumping into a vertical shaft. The veteran notices Alex and shoots the window, hurling him to the first floor. Alex flees once more, but this time he finds him in the room where he keeps his gardening tools and where he had hidden Money's body. He knocks Alex out and stabs him with huge gardening scissors. Rocky awakens injured and in pain. She begins crawling through the vents again when she notices two openings, one inside the house and one outside. The vet grabs her from the other side as she tries to break through the bars at the opening leading outside the house. Rocky awakens in the cellar, and she's imprisoned in the same way that the other girl was. The veteran arrives, and she begs him to let her go, promising not to tell anyone about the girl. However, he explains that keeping the girl in the basement was not intended as punishment for what she had done to his daughter. He had the insane idea that since she had taken his child away from him, it would only be fair if she gave him a child in return. He'd kept her there because she was pregnant with his child. Using his insane logic, he concludes that Rocky is to blame for her death and that she should be held accountable. Meanwhile, Alex wakes up. He tricks the dog into entering the room and locks it in. He then opens the front door. The veteran is preparing something in the basement. He informs Rocky that she will now have to bear his child in place of the previous girl. However, he says he would not force himself on her, only his baby batter. Fortunately, Alex enters the basement just in time and tries to stop the mad veteran. Alex ties up the veteran and releases Rocky, who kicks the old man, among other things. Alex informs Rocky that calling the cops is out of the question at this point and that they should simply leave the veteran chained up in the basement. They take the money and exit the basement through the front door. The veteran shoots Alex as soon as he opens the door, and he manages to escape. Rocky begins to run outside in broad daylight. The veteran dispatches his Rottweiler to pursue her. She finally reaches the car after a long chase. However, when the dog catches up with her, she drops the bag containing the money outside. Furthermore, once inside the car, she realizes she doesn't have the key. Rocky cleverly traps the dog inside the car, but as soon as she gets out and grabs the bag, the veteran grabs her again and pulls her toward his house by her hair. Rocky locates and activates the alarm remotely when they arrive. The noise completely confuses the veteran, and she manages to push him down into the basement. As the police arrive at the house, she grabs the money and flees, believing he is dead. Rocky is sitting in an airport bar with her younger sister. She hears the news on the bar TV, and the news anchor is discussing what happened. The veteran had made it through the fall. He did not mention that she was also involved in the robbery or that the money is missing. The movie ends with Rocky now free to live her best life in California with her sister.